That boy is finished. You are finished. Don't pay my rent. That means you are a thief. Stealing from me. You are dead. You are finished. Stay in this shithole anyway! Shithole? My, my man's... Get out! You idiot! Remove yourself! Bloody... Did you see that, eh? What nefarious character of ambiguous parentage! Bastard! Never in all my days have I experienced such disrespectful behavior, eh? I should have beaten him severely, but for my humble nature. You see, I am calm. You see how quickly I can remain calm? Because I don't need all this nonsense to increase my hypertension. I have enough for a halal with this house as it is already. That room, eh? Number two. Always problems. Never warm. Always damp. I never want to rent it out. But if I don't, then idiots break in and vandalize it. But I cannot win because it always seems to attract the most dubious of tenants. But somebody has to pay the mortgage. So what can I do? My God. Roger. That's it. Look, at least give him a chance. I don't want anything to do with him. He's my father. He's not a monster. He fucking kills people for Christ's sake. All those dodgy deals. Those thugs following him everywhere. I mean, what if I upset his daughter one day? You think I want to wake up with the horse's head in my bed? Don't be ridiculous. You know, I really thought you'd be a little more understanding, Roger. Come on. Look at him. Thanks for dinner. Where are you going? Away. From you. Oh, what, that's it? After three years over this? What, what about the house we just bought? What about all our plans? Oh, Christ, what about when the press get hold of this? Oh, so that's what you're worried about, the press? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, Bernie. Showbiz breakups are two a penny. And just think, your film's coming out soon. All this free publicity. You're not leaving. Please, please don't leave. <laughs> Make it sound like you care. You know I care. Prove to me that. Prove to me that you care. Come with me. <laughs> Thought so. Bernadette! Shall I go, sir? She'll come back. She always does.
I never knew you had it in you. <laughs> Shut up. I've got no idea why I'm doing this. Hey. I think you made the right choice. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. What the fuck is she doing? What the fuck are you doing? Look, miss, don't let your eyes deceive you, eh? Don't let them try to establish that you are entering a hovel. Open them, and you will be dazzled by this mansion that would rival Buckingham Palace. And of course, that, that it does not come cheap, you know? And if you, when you look out in the morning, you will believe that you are overlooking the jewel gardens of St. James. <laughs> Sunlight always comes flooding through. Uh, when it's not raining, of course. <laughs> and you will believe that you're on fire, that the whole house is ablaze. <laughs> it's wonderful, very cozy, very, um, uh, how do you say, cozy. Uh, but uh, tell me, uh, why are you uh, writing all these ghost stories? Eh? I, I mean, don't you believe that the dead should remain relaxed in their graves? I ghost write. Autobiographies? I. I write other people's autobiographies. Okay, yes, okay. Yeah. So that means um, that you get to intermingle with all those glamorous Hollywood superstars? No, no, no. I, I just get sent roughs and I make them coherent, you know, try to find the right voice. I mean, I hope eventually it will be a, um, a springboard for promoting my own work. Oh, anyway. So are these all your bits and pieces? Yeah, um, my ex. My ex-flatmate um, threw everything out, including me, so... Ah, look, don't worry, eh? We can always find a replacement. <laughs> you don't need gold in your pockets to find charity shops in London. No. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind saying that I've acquired one or two bargains myself, uh, for the sake of charity, of course. <laughs> and um, while you are talking, let us discuss on the rent. It's me, Charlotte. Yeah, hi. No, I, I just got it. My first mail. What? Oh, that's okay. No, I, got, I took a mini cap. Oh, no, don't worry. 
I don't expect you to remember every little thing. What? Oh, no, no, it, it looks really, um... Yeah, really... No. No, that will definitely inspire me. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, perhaps it's better suited to somebody who actually knows something about football. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? To explore my masculine side. Okay, Baz. Bye. Bye. say kicked again as I lobbed the ball, volleyed the ball, as I, as I launched, embodied, as I launched the ball, Miss Lessing? Yes? Good. Glad to meet you at last. It's vital we talk about the salvation of the Kingdom of God. Huh? Yes, when you call, you express the urgency, the need in which you need it. Um... Look, I'm sorry, but I really didn't call you. I'm sorry to have wasted your time, okay? Thanks, thanks. Bye. Me and God. We know where you live. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Baz. No? No, it's going great. It's great. I'll have it on your desk in three weeks. What? No, no, it was, it was three weeks. Well, no, I, I realise it's not you, but I suppose I could get it done in, in two. Look, look, Baz, Baz, the reason I called is, um... Is Lynn about? I, I just wanted to... No. No, I know she doesn't. Why? No. No, of course not. I realise that that is for the best. OK. Thanks. Bye.
No. 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 Only somebody as appallingly nice as you could piss off anyone that much. What did you do? Nothing. I haven't seen anyone apart from when I... I try to say hello. Hi. I've just moved in downstairs. And? Oh, and thought I'd just say hi. Hi back. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a life. Oh, God, you're such a bloody yokel. <laughs> oh, Bazism number 34. When in the sticks, everybody knows everybody's business. In the city, nobody cares. So, what's your next move? Move? Yeah, out of this charming reproduction of Auschwitz. Especially if there's some prankster loose in the building. <laughs> well, where else is there? I'm broke. Oh, for fair look, you're not going to put up with all this crap, are you? No, oh, it's you talking. You're not going to put up with all this crap. Look, 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 Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. It's a good job you've got a friend here. And I am your friend. I know. No? No, no, no. Taking off my agent's hat and putting aside all that you know, stuff with me and Lynn. This is me talking as your best and oldest friend in the world. Now, your life, and remember, this is me talking, yeah, and I love you like a brother. Your life is a tub of double whipped shit with a topping of extra rich imported Belgian shit and a side order of shit in a basket. Your life is shit. You look like shit, and therefore, people are gonna treat you like, like shit. Thanks for the pep talk. That's why Lynn's with me. You do understand that, don't you? I mean, it's kind of funny, really. <laughs> I only knew Lynn through you, and she's only with me because you lost her. <laughs> I was best man when you and her got, you know, <laughs> now. I'm the hubby. <laughs> I mean, I'm as open-minded as the next man. I've got a KD Lang CD, and I think girl on girl is, is really <laughs> kind of beautiful. <laughs> but, you know, my point is, do you mind? Yeah, my point is, you are doing this all to yourself, and you've got to put a lid on it, or you're gonna be fucked. Which will be a first for you. <laughs> Look, no, you have got to get your shit together. And put it in a tub? What? Oh. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk is cheap. Yeah, Bazism number, th uh, number three. Uh, yeah. When life gives you lemons, kick it in the balls! Oi! Listen up, you bastards! Please! Oi! This oh, woman please. is a creative fucking artist! Please. To have some respect! No, 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 no! Hey. no. Ah. Oh, you're no. answer to me! No. So there you bloody go. Here endeth the first lesson. If you act like pussy, that's exactly the way that people are going to treat you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. That's, that's great. Um, now listen, about my manuscript... Look, yeah, I know it's tight, but I trust you, Charlie. I really do. Oh, thanks, but I actually meant my manuscript, my novel. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Book of Nightmares. Dreams. Yeah, more, no, whatever. Look, I will read it tomorrow morning, I promise, on my honour. Please, Baz, because if I could just get that published... Charlie, what are friends for? Mm. Thank you. Thanks, Baz. <laughs> night, night. Bye. Thanks.
really sorry. Fucking bitch. Didn't know you jogged around here. Yeah. Oh God, you look good. I mean, you look great. <laughs> Thanks. And um, and are, are you good? Charlotte, let's not do this. I've made my choice. I'm happy, really. It's right. No going back. Please accept it. No, I have. Honestly, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay.
I'm so sorry. Please, come in. You mustn't disturb the others. Oh, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? You're the most inconsiderate person I've ever met in my entire life, do you hear me? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you, you stupid cow. You're making all this noise. <coughs> Penny finally dropped, eh? Do you get it yet? You wouldn't believe how long I've been planning all this. Should I know you? Chloe, just how many lives have you ruined? You don't even... You. It's me. Me! Look at my face! I will not let you rob me of my moment, you bitch! Come on! Come on! You can't have f f fucking forgotten! I will not accept that! Don't you know why I even did this? No. And to be absolutely honest. Who cares? Chronologically, possibly, sort of, and uh, yeah. I thought it summed him up perfectly. We have got a contract. You cannot. I will not allow you. Do not... you really think Ryan Mallard would appreciate the sort of publicity a court case like that would bring? Anyway, I'd love to stay and chat about my rides here. But we're mates. Oh, bad. You're my best friend, and I don't even like you. Doesn't that say something? It's just time for me to be somewhere else right now, somewhere less constricting. Look, if it helps, charlatism number one. When life gives you lemons, keep the receipt. Pass it on to Lynn for me, would you? Tell her I'll be in touch. Elimination.
I know what they are doing. Conspiring against their landlord will not help these tenants at all. They think they can threaten me into repairing all their rooms by evacuating the whole house at once and not paying what they owe me. Well, they have another thing coming. I mean, fixing the toilet in number five or sealing the room above number nine is no problem. And this is London. Everyone has mold. Eh? But I'm a very busy man. And leaving all this shit to fester in front of my house. My house? Their house. If they want to act like protesters, let them come to my door and display their banners. And then they can compensate me for all this bloody air fresh that I had to purchase this morning. If they don't come back by tomorrow, eh? I'm throwing out all their belongings. And I'm keeping that stereo in number four, the widescreen TV in number six, and the dirty magazines in number ten. To seal up the room in number nine, what do you think? Look at you. Shopping? Get a move on. I'm running out of time. extra reward points. So you're saving? For air miles. Got her that Buffy annual for Christmas? I need your help. Tigger, if it's important enough for you to call me out of bed at midnight, then I'm here for you. I had an 
actually gone to bed yet, so um, I haven't sacrificed as much as Elise, so... Chrissy, I have to break the chain. Please. We're both happy to indulge your spooky molderness, but I just don't get all this new age stuff. I collect crystals. I kind of see where you're coming from. You called sounding distressed. If it's important enough for you to do this stuff, then it's important to us. Whatever you want us to do, we'll just get on with it. Then leave before the changing rooms team arrives. <laughs> this is going to be emotional. Uh, no, no. Emotional. How emotional? Emotional. It's Julian. The rat bag. Girls, let's go to work. That stays. Follow my lead. Principe Lucifero. Principe Lucifero. Presente elimina. Presente elimina. Concentrate. Dark forces are among us. This is serious. Mensajera. Mensajera. Amen. May contain traces of nut. Remind you of anyone? Flakes. Scare us half to death. You're right. We don't understand. Julie, call me Corey. She's flat with Ian. She said I needed a seance like this. It went wrong. I've got to stop it. She's not wearing any underwear. Oh, Tigger. <laughs> they get you involved in this sick world so they can take advantage. No, no. Ian left. He didn't like it, he felt ill. So it, it was just Julian that forced himself on you? No, nobody touched me. Oh, for God's sake. Ian left, then it went wrong. I blacked out, Julian was gone. I, I got my bag together and phoned and then ran here. Why? It's 
Dorothy up my cornflakes. Holy water. Why didn't we bring the holy milk? Holy sugar and holy fucking bowl. Masks to disguise us from the dark one. No way. Everybody all right back there? Buckle up now. of someone breaking into a place and festooning the entire floor with Mr. Kellogg's finest conflicts? I mean, if they wanted a breakfast party, why didn't they come and ask me? I would have provided all the bowls and the milk, at a reasonable price, of course, and then they could have masticated all they wanted. I said masticate. Look at you. And look at this. Oh, my insurance. Ah, 
long time precisely. <laughs> you know, I could sense your very presence. Mr. Talbot, I presume, eh? Uh, Talbot, no, 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 no. I'm an associate of his. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, it is you? God, you're okay, aren't you? I like that. Oh, you know, I'm going to talk to those ancestors. Some, they're very cheeky, you know. Sometimes they like to play games. I presume you are uh, Mr. Talbot, yeah? That's right, yeah. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, then allow me to, um, to proceed to guide you directly throughout this magnificent mansion. When you see it, you will be amazed. It's the rear garden flat, right? That's the very one, yeah. I'll take it. Excellent. Uh, the rent is <clears throat> 500 pounds a month. Uh, plus <clears throat> uh, one month deposit. Uh, all paid in advance, of course. I can move in today, yeah? Yes, yes. That's excellent. Look, will you deactivate that television apparatus? Why is he recording me? You, uh, please, please. Let me see, I'm trying to conduct from this. Do you know this man? But, yeah, but why? Is this the news that came out? Maybe you should have uh, asked to see the room first. No, nah, it's fine. I need it for a job later this week. Before I go on the record, Nigel. You get through a lot of these bags. Do you use any special ones at all? Maybe like an industrial strength plastic bag? I don't know, I never really thought about it. Because surely the thicker the bag, the better the blackout. That's fine. Peeking in. Right, okay. Are you ready? Right. Can you state your name, age, and occupation, please? Uh, real name? Jim Patton. Loads of aliases. 36. I'm a government paid assassin, designated Cleaner 31 of the ultra secret Black Ops section. Code name. Red line. I rented this place to kill an enemy operative across the way there later on this week. Right, your turn. You are? You come and sit here. You're part of this too. People will want to see the face of the man who broke the news. Oh, come on! Name, age, occupation. Uh, Nigel Turner. 33, I'm a freelance investigative television journalist. And why are you here? Because you contacted me. And why did I contact you? Um, you said you wanted to blow the whistle on... Um... Hang on, could you pass me my notepad? Oh, cheers. Oh, here we go. You said you wanted to blow the whistle on the suppressed wide-scale government-sanctioned slaughter of UK-based foreign criminals and espionage operatives. Yeah, foreign's a word. <laughs> So, where do we go from now? First things first, need to unpack. Can't relax otherwise. So, uh, you travel light then? Oh, yeah. Well, you never know when you've got to make a quick... Oh, these. It's my own personal get-out-of-jail-free kit. Well, saved me arse a few times, I can tell you. A Python 357. My friend. I call her Marietta. Super Marietta. Yeah, she's a big girl. But fucking lets you know when you're facing a business end. Also known as a man stopper. Yeah. You can punch a hole in an engine housing with this little baby. Oh yeah. It's a good gun, this. A Walther MP3. Whip this little baby out of your coat. Stroke the trigger, you'll lay down cover and fire. It'll have the opposition diving for cover and filling their trousers. Does it have a name too? Petula, after an ex-girlfriend. You had a girl called Petula? No, her name was Daphne. But I kept thinking it was Petula. Why? Well, I don't know. You can guess that one didn't last. <laughs> so, um, you name all your um, weapons after ex-girlfriends? Oh, no. 
This badass puppy is called Thor. And Thor here is fought as a hero of mine once said, for close encounters. Yeah, packs a punch like Tyson on a bad hair day. Yeah. So when the opposition get close, you want to cause lots of irreparable damage. Yeah, come no further than Thor. So, um, um, you use these, um, tools on jobs? Oh, no. Apart from this piece here, those are for emergencies only. I'll get a new piece each job I go on to. No, stops me being connected to all the other hits. I'll show you tomorrow if you like, but we've got to get settled in, so we'll call it a day, shall we? Daddy, you good? Yeah, that's right. Just left behind the second stall system every time. Oh good. I like this, mate. Right, let's go meet our public, shall we? Thing is, the situation's getting worse. There's more and more jobs to do. There's not enough people to do them. Department control's kind of anal about their LX in, and we're going to need more to solve this crisis. Why is that, do you think? I don't know. I'm scared the new recruits can't take the truth. It's a pressurised job, lots of stress. You know what I mean? So you're really busy right now? Yeah, work's pretty hectic. Getting time doing a job almost every other day. So this guy we're going to visit, he won't mind me filming? No, it won't be a problem. Oh, take this week, for example. Got a bloke showing up on Saturday across from the room. Doing someone on Wednesday, another on Thursday. What well, the time was, I wouldn't pick up your piece but once a month. It's crazy. <laughs> Goodbye, son. Holy shit! Holy oh, shit, you fucking shot him! Speak up. I think someone didn't hear you in Land's End. Fuck hell, shit. Ooh, it's not quite dead yet. Fuck! Fucking hell! All right, come on, we're going. Fuck! Close the door. You born in a bone? Bollocks! Bollocks! Fucking shit! Shit! Fuck! Fucking hell! Fuck! Shit! 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 What? Oh! What's just right in front of me? So? That's what I do, isn't it? I told you, didn't I? Yeah, but bloody hell! You know this makes me a fucking accessory! It's all in a good cause, isn't it? If I'd known you were going to act like this, I wouldn't have brought you with me, would I? I mean, are you fucking surprised? Look, you wanted to know everything. If you want to know the truth about cats and dogs, you've got to know all of it. Stop! Stop! What? Stop the fucking car! What's the matter? Oh. You're not feeling well? You're going to be sick? You're going to chunder? Chuck? Drive <laughs> the portion bus? She blows! Ladies and gentlemen, Nigel Turner, ace investigative reporter and Tower of Jelly. Oh well, it's the first time for everyone. You calm now? Relaxed? You sure you don't wanna? No, 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 no. I mean, what is your philosophy? What do you mean? I mean, you're, you're out, look, your justification for doing this, for it him, just now. Well, they're the enemy. Every time I go on a job, it means there's one less bad boy walking around the planet. And it's the buzz. I like the buzz. You like it? Yeah. Using my skills, knowing I'm doing some good, I'll get a hell of a kick, actually. Well, watching their brain splatter out all over the place, it's better than sex. Well, that's pretty passionate. Well, it's payback time, isn't it? Payback? What for? What have they done to you? I still find it difficult to talk about, but it all started after the abduction. They kidnapped you? Yeah. 
took me up on their scout ship. A scout ship? Yeah. Big fuck off triangular thing it was. On board, they poked and prodded me, shoved things up my ass. Hang on, hang on. This is the drug barons we're talking about. The Mendoza cartel, or, or was it the KGB? No, the Zarathustrians. The Zarathustrians? Their invasion force. Shapeshifters from the Sigma 5 Delta Quadrant across the galaxy. <laughs> the, Zara, the Zarathustrians? Zarathustrians. Yeah, I know it's difficult to say. I'll find trouble myself sometimes. As in aliens? Oh, fuck me. I forgot to tell you, didn't I? Yeah, I've got a brain like a sieve sometimes. I forget my head next time. Yeah, they're aliens. But, I mean, this file you showed me, I, it, it, it clearly states here that, you know, he had strong connections with the Mendoza cartel. Look, smuggling out, security service, anti-drug, countermeasures, data aiding, enforcement, evasion. So? Oh, the file's got to say something, hasn't it? Well, you can't just say, terminate with extreme prejudice, some bug-eyed, shape-shifting alien, can it? Well, it could, but that'd blow the gaff, wouldn't it? Can't be too careful, you know. So, he's a Zaruthuson? Zarathustran, that's right. Mr Lopez? Yeah. From outer space? It's bigger than you thought, isn't it, eh? Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the bog, I'll be back in a... Oi! Nige! Nige! Oi! I forgot to tell you, the pay's good. It was fucking great, actually. Well, it would have to be, wouldn't it? No. I love this job. Well, I'll do it for free, actually. I thought I'd be OK. But, oh, my God! <coughs> Why me? There's a sheet. Come on, over here. Come on. Come on, sit there. Look at you. That's how shocking the truth is, everyone. Even a jaded old hack like him can't take it. <laughs> It's all right. Panic over. I got him. Who was it? A cat. You shot a cat? Yeah. Nasty one too. Persian blue. The more snobbish they are, the meaner they are. It's all right. Won't have had time to report back yet. So, um, this cat, was it a Zaruthuson too? Oh, no. They can't shapeshift smaller than our size. It was a probe. A drone. It was working for them. Cats. They're intelligence seekers. What? You know, all cats. Oh, yeah. A little tip. Never look a cat straight in the eye. It will suspect you know something. And then one night... It will crawl up on your face and smother you. Another sad and tragic accident by the family pet, the coroner says. Jim, um... Do you have an allergy to cats? Yeah. How do you know? Oh, wild guess. Well, it's their biology, you see. Well, it's different to ours. You see? The Darthusians, they didn't get it right when they were designing them. It'll be declared due at about a dinner time, so we better get rid of the body, right? Uh, I have. Well, we'll burn it. We'll have ourselves a little bonfire out the back. I'll tell you what, I spotted a little barbecue out there. We'll have one of those at the same time, yeah? A little bit of a housewarming. Do you want some barbecue sauce? No. That's it. 
So, um, what are you reading, Jim? Latest report. Now your enemy. You go to bed. Get some sleep. Where are we going? I've got a call from Control. I've got to go and pick up another target file. I'll show you where I'll pick them up from, if you like. Couldn't be from anywhere else, really, could it? Have you ever thought of taking any alien artefacts with your, uh, I mean, your, your, your targets? Yeah, it's proof. Well, the government says you're not allowed to. Well, the target, he has his ET mates, he comes in, they tidy up the flat, and they'll spot if you've nicked anything, they'll know the game's up. Well, OK, but if you had to, I mean, what would you look for and, you know, what would it look like? Depends what you're looking for. Well, OK, I, I mean... How about a, a communications device to contact the, the mother ship? I mean, they do have a mother ship, right? Yeah, they've got comments. So, so what do they look like? More mobile phones, what do you think? Oh, right. They're silly of me. Do you have to film me like this, Nigel? Well, it's for the record. You know, I never really thought of, of cleaners. What, actually cleaning? Yeah. Well, you have to, don't you? Got to get rid of traces of yourself, fingerprints. I do it every night. Um, Jim, look, I mean, please don't take offence by this, but, um, I mean, as a journalist, I do have to ask this question. I mean, do you think it's possible that the government recruited you using the Zarathusian story as a way to get you to, um, you know, kill real humans, I mean, real people? You know, they exploited your abduction trauma experience. What, you mean they made it up? No, oh, come on, I'm not that naive. I mean, I'd have to be a pretty stupid fucker to pull for bollocks like that, wouldn't I? If I didn't already know the truth. <laughs> Kill people because you're told they're aliens. Well, you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. But they are aliens. Right, right, of course, yeah, yeah. Just checking, yeah. Just out of um, curiosity, what TV shows do you watch? Well, there's X-Files, of course. Buffy, Dark Skies. Doctor Who, Babylon 5, Farscape, Space Above and Beyond. Star Trek at all? Oh, fuck me, no. Gene Rodenbury, he was one of them. Peaceful coexistence, bollocks. That was alien propaganda from the start. The Bill, yeah. Cop shows, the Darusians love them. Noel's House Party, I watched that when it was on. Noel's House Party? Are you saying Noel Edmonds is an alien too? Oh, no. It's because it was live. I was just waiting for someone to pop him. <laughs> Shame Jeremy Beadle isn't a Zaruthasen. Oh, now he is one. He's a big man, though. You can't touch him. He's well protected. No, that would cause eruptions around the world, that would. Pity. Oh. Don't make it look so sad and tragic. Little lost kitty. War is hell. <laughs> Another job today. Who's the target? Woman this time. Name of Andrews. Bile says she's getting intimate with lots of foreign diplomats. She's giving them pillow talk. We'd rather she keep stum about. Was she a Zarithasen? Nah. Diplomats this time. But she does know about them. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, even if she doesn't, it doesn't matter. She's betraying her kind, isn't she? We can't have that now, can we? Even if I say so myself. Yeah, Prezi. That evidence you wanted. We'll tear it open when we get back. Have a look inside, see for yourself. All that futuristic technology. Yeah.
Well, maybe she had another phone. Is it? Another cat? Just check it. Come on, Nige, get a move on. Come on, I said we're going. Oh, calm down, Jim. I'm going to prove it to you once and for all. Come on, get up. Well, where, where are we going? What's happened? Has somebody made you? It's not, I don't believe you, Jim. You don't know, do you? That's why you're coming with me. Look, you don't have to prove anything for me. Look, it's why I contacted you. It's what we're doing here, isn't it? People need to know. I'm gonna show you. I'm telling you, I'm gonna show you. Jim, where are we going? Oh, you're gonna kill me, aren't you? You'd tell me if you were, wouldn't you? Jim? Jim! 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 Can you just stop a minute? Come on, Nigel, for fuck's sake. Jim! Stop! Jim! What are we doing here, Jim? This is another hit, isn't it? For fuck's sake, Nigel, will you calm down? I'm not going to do you, all right? Come on, Petula. Let's go and dance. Jim! Jim! Come on, would you shut it? Just stop for a second. Jim! What the fuck is going on? Look, just over the other side of those trees there is a house belonging to a certain TV personality called Jeremy Beadle. Have well, you got instructions to kill him? Oh, fuck no! I've decided! The government are a bunch of fucking pussies. We've got to take the war to them. I'm going to act now, and you're going to be my witness. But it's Jeremy Beadle, the big man. That's the whole fucking point. We've got to make a stand now. I can't let you do this, Jim. It's Jeremy Beadle. I thought you'd be fucking pleased. Don't do it, Jim, please. Fucking make me. OK. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Killing my story, that's what I'm doing. Fucking bastard. Look, Jim, I'm sorry. I like you. But let's face it, you're a loose cannon. And a loose cannon that's completely fucking mad. And we can't have you running around killing people willy nilly now, can we? You. You're one of them. Same with Thustrians. I fucking get everywhere. Oh, give it a rest. <laughs> Twat. Observer 62 report summary. Having observed the behaviour of Cleaner 31 and the others, recruited by using the stupid alien story, I recommend that this programme be stopped immediately. Not only does it cause serious psychosis and jeopardise security, but this is the fifth nutcase I've killed this year, and as a result of it all, it's getting rather boring. I've contacted assignments who have allocated a new cleaner to 31's jobs. And on a personal note, Control, please don't send me on these jobs again. Give them to the new guy, um, Barclay. He'll enjoy tracking down nutters like this. Report end. Jeremy Beadle. What are you like? Do that again, I'm going to bury you along with the remains of this bloody mongrel. Do you know this cat is going to cause me a lot of problems with my children? Considering the evidence is not easy, you know? I mean, 
I can't go and show them my half cooked faceless feline carcass and say, oh, this is what happened to your faithful me. And if I catch the bastard who did this, I'm going to claim back all the costs of taking it to the vet, including three years supply of pedigree chop. Still, I like him though. Very clever Moggy. You know, I don't know why, but I, I used to believe that he could understand every word I said. Very strange. Anyway, God rest his soul. If you had one. I just fed him. 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 Oh, mate,
Someone is just a fucking bump on the head. Mm. Get up! Hey, when you quit fucking finished, come on, you've got to help me. Come on! That fucking last. Look what you made me do. Fuck this. Wait, where, where are you going? You, you can't leave me like this. You've got to help me. What for? Because you just sentenced me to death, you asshole. It's not what you think. I've been kidnapped. Oh, is that so? Well, don't you read the papers? No, I'm not normally interested in the contents of my bed sheet. I'm Bernadette Pettiford. Don't you recognize me? Sorry, I'm unaware of your celebrity status. I have a busy social life. Oh, for Christ's sakes, where have you been? Bye. No, 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 stop. Stop, please. Please stop and just listen to me for one minute. There's a bomb strapped to me, okay? It's, it's motion sensitive. And when you moved me, you triggered you triggered the timer. Look, if you don't do something soon, this thing's gonna go off. It's right here. It's right here. If you wanna take a look at it, just, just take a look. If you don't believe me, just take a look. I'm out of here. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I'll pay you. I'll pay you half a million for just one phone call. Listen, I'm rich. I am very, very rich. Come on, how hard a decision is it to make? Living on the streets penniless or half a mil better off? Come on. How do I know you're telling me the truth? For God's sakes, I don't have time for this. Listen, all you have to do is find a phone box. You don't even have to pay, pay for the call. You, you can reverse the charges and leave it in fate's hands, right? If I live, then, then you're rich. If I don't, well, you're no worse off. Please. I haven't seen my family in weeks. What's your name, anyway? Danny. Danny Sykes. Please. Okay. Okay, the number's, um, uh, 7532 Fuck. 7-5? 7-5-3-2-6-2-3-2. Speak to my father. Tell him I'm here. His name's George Pettiford. I'd like to make a reverse charge call. Which number, please? Uh, two. Sir, can I have the number? Wait. Shh. Shh. It's, uh, uh... Yeah, it's 7532-6232. Come on, you stupid fucker. Hello? Operator, sir. I have a call from a London phone book. Will you accept the charge? Who is this? This is a private line. Mr. Pettiford, George Pettiford. It's about your daughter. I have info. Will you accept the charge, sir? Yes, yes, of course. Who is this? You're through, caller. How did you get hold of this number? From your daughter. Where is she? Is she safe? If you've done anything to her, I promise you, you'll regret Wait. it. Wait, oh, whoa. I didn't do anything. I didn't take her. I just broke in. Look, Mr. Penny, there isn't much time. She's in trouble. You think I don't know that? Bernadette asked me to call you. She's tied up to some... Where is my daughter? Where is she? Some flat I broke into. She's in there, but she can't get out. There's a bomb strapped to her. If she moves, it'll go off. What? 
She promised me some money if I made this call. Look, if I find my daughter alive, you'll be well compensated. I give you my word. Now, the address. Wait, wait. 16 Avondale Road. Uh, the building's Eve Court, flat number two. My name's Sykes, Mr. Pettyford. It's Dan Sykes. No, just so you know who I uh, called. Do you want me to call the police? No, we're on our way. You've done my daughter a great service, Mr. Sykes. Now you do me a personal favor. Go back there and look after her until we arrive. I'd rather wait outside. Look, I want someone there I can trust. I don't want my daughter alone, do you understand? I can't pay you if you're not there, Mr. Sykes. Done, okay? Help's on his way. Shit. What the hell do you think you're doing? Coming here, interfering with our love. You're here to steal her, aren't you? Any more gentleman callers I should know about? Listen, he's already called my father. Oh, is that so? He's on his way. Oh, really? Well, I'm only gone a moment, and suddenly the world and his wife are coming round for tea. Daddy better be quick if he's going to catch the fireworks. Listen, he's telling the truth. My father knows all about you. If you get shut! The fuck up! Look at her. Even after I've told her a thousand times. Cards on her birthday, cake, flowers, presents. You're special, I say. We're special. Our lives are one. A true communion of souls. Does she listen? Even now, she'd rather be stolen back into that world. Back to the lies and shallow little sycophants who don't know how to give real love, true devotion. You brought him here to see if I'd let you go, right? I can't let you go. Not ever. So I get to keep the girl, right? <laughs> You slut! Can't you see he's not the man for you? None of them are. Let me go, you fucked up bitch! Don't talk to me like that, babe. I love you. We're supposed to be together. <laughs> How can you fall for a man that goes down so easy? I can't believe you're shedding tears. Over a man who stinks of B.O. and who dresses like Benny from Crossroads. Why are you doing this to me? It's not often you have an encounter with the Venus incarnate. What's wrong with wanting a relationship with my goddess? I don't think it's too much to ask. That's not me anymore. That will always be you. I want you to keep your beauty forever. I love you. Don't, don't you love me? Of course I don't love you! I couldn't love you, I hate you! Possibly be in love with that. Well, if I can't have you. Come on, then, fucker! Up, 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 up! Fucking bastard. You've turned her against me. Anybody tell you? You're a sick bitch! Yeah, she has. Frequently. Now, 
Have you got anything else to say before I put a bullet in that so-called brain of yours? Just one. Fuck you! Ooh, good comeback. Wanna play a game? Better be a quick one. Because we ain't got much time. <laughs> What kind of game do you have in mind? A game of chance. I'm prepared to die for my sweet love. Are you? I'm a fucking sick. Ooh, stinky man has a sense of humour. I'll let her go. I'll let you both go. If you can disarm my bomb. Or I can just put a bullet in your head right now. All right. Great. Because I hope you're not colour blind, because there are six wires, that means six chances, and only one way of winning. Not that I'm in any rush, but time is running out. Look, I'll even give you my lucky pliers. There you go, smelly. It's okay, miss. You're safe now. Mr. Pettiford? My daughter. She's safe. Your daughter is safe, and we're bringing her out now. I'm leaving this place, you know. Evacuating. That's the last straw. Never again will I have to come down here like this morning, only to find that some unholy carnage has descended upon this establishment once more. It's not good for my health, my hypertension. I mean, is it me, my family, my cat? God rest his soul if he had one. This iniquitous room is full of damnation and spiritual inhabitation. I'm telling you, room number two, it should be called room 666. That's the mark of the beast, you know, and I don't like it at all, at all. So I'm going. You can have it, all of it. For a reasonable price, of course. I mean, do you think I'm stupid? So if you want to talk business, then call me. Bloody London, streets paved with gold, are you mad?
I'm in the dead 